In this video, I'm going to reveal our master bedroom, ensuite, and walk in robe of our Bray Homestead renovation. So, the intention of this video is just to show you how we converted these three rooms and a little bit of behind the scenes and why uh, we made some of the creative design decisions. These three rooms are part of a much larger renovation. We completely renovated this entire house. If you want to see the overall renovation, you can watch my other YouTube videos. So the master bedroom used to be the original living room. The new ensuite used to be the master bedroom and the new walk-in robe used to be bedroom two. So this is a demolition floor plan and it might help to explain. So we're looking at these three rooms here at the front, the living which becomes the master, bedroom one which becomes the ensuite and bedroom two which becomes the walk-in robe. And so basically you can see what we demolish, all of the doors and windows, um, and also removing this dog leg section of wall here which will increase the size of the master bedroom and then we'll create an entry through here. And here are the new plans, the same three rooms, one, two and three and this is where that dog leg used to be so you can see it's gone now, the master bedroom is bigger and there's the entrance. So let's have a little look through these spaces in person. I'll show you through. So this little front porch will become the porch of the master bedroom and this will be on the second story. Then these three rooms here, number one, number two, and number three in there, that will become the master bedroom, the ensuite, and the walk-in robe. Today we're just starting some demo. This is the master bedroom. We're taking up this little dog leg here to extend the master bedroom, but what we're being really careful of today is all of the cornices and also this is the ensuite, and so same story again, because the walls are getting moved, we're trying to rip the cornice out and preserve it so that we can reuse it. For example, the, this wall is actually going to be moved back a meter this way, and so London is taking down this cornice, and we're going to reuse it on the new wall. And this is the walking um, row, which is 3.9 by 3.1 meters, pretty big. And then through here, this which was formerly a bedroom will now become the ensuite. And this room is now the master. There was a wall here yesterday, but now, you, um, now we can really get a true sense of how large the master bedroom is. And the master bedroom will have a set of French doors going out to um, the front deck, which is already a porch, but now that it's closed in, so we'll, we'll open it up. ceiling which I really want to, to keep so we're going to keep that just have to work out a way to marry it in here to the other ceiling this is obviously disappearing and this is a really large master bedroom then through here is the um, the ensuite this used to be the main bedroom to the original house so it's a, obviously it's a huge ensuite I think you can have bathrooms that are too large if you've got a bathroom that's too large, you end up having, you know, your bath and your shower sort of pushed to the side and then you've got this really sparse, empty space, which is not, it doesn't, the scale just doesn't look right. So to kind of get around that, we've done this wall in the middle of the room. So we can put a freestanding bath here in front of it. And basically by putting that wall there, it kind of just gives the, the room the right proportions, I suppose, and also creates a beautiful statement backdrop behind the freestanding bath. Then behind this wall in there will be the shower, and then behind that wall in there is obviously the toilet, and the vanity will be running along here. <clears throat> I'm not sure yet if it will be one large vanity or two separate vanities. Um, I, I feel like because it's such a huge space, it really needs to be a bit luxe. So we're kind of going very traditional high-end fittings and finishes in here. And I also want to do some um, traditional wall panelling on the lower parts of the walls as well, some wainscoting. Alright. 
obviously the master bedroom also has its own um, its own front veranda. It's just got a beautiful outlook out there. Lots of cool breezes. It's really really a lovely area. And then this room in here, this was the second bedroom in the original house. This is now the walk-in wardrobe. It's just going to be huge cabinetry in here. There'll be a cute little window seat underneath the windows there. Can you do synchronised tapping? Oh, oh, yeah, let's go. freestanding bath stands out against the coloured wall and then the top parts of the wall just will all get painted white. But no, oh. yeah, hold it off the wall and have a three mil. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. joinery about to go in here and a little window seat under there and I'm contemplating some wallpaper on that wall there. Look at this, that's all brand new cornice moulded to match the original. So now we're upstairs and this end of the home is mum and dad's retreat and this end of the home is the kids living area. So let me take you through. With, this is where we've tried to keep a lot of the original features so it was important to me to reuse all of the old doors. This is all new hardware however it's a, an exact replica of all of the original hardware. The old hardware was a little bit too um, worn to reuse. And again, we've gone to great effort and expense to maintain all of the original ceilings and all of the cornices. So these are quite damaged, but we've fully restored them all. And this is the main living area. It's just really luxurious and it has its own front porch. Again, uh, you would come out here with a glass of wine and just relax. Through here is the ensuite. And we had enough space as well just to put a little um, seat in here. I can imagine just, just sitting in here and just letting the day wash off you. <laughs> I'd probably bring a wine in here as well to be honest. <laughs> Here's 
and hers vanities as well. All the original ceiling and corners. So elaborate and beautiful, you just don't see that kind of thing anymore. And through here, the master bedroom wardrobe. So this, this wall here, it looks like wallpaper, but these are actually individual um, decals, which I painstakingly put on the wall individually myself. And there's just endless storage in here as well even somewhere to put your jewellery. And here is the master bedroom. I love this space. And this used to be the second bedroom, but we have converted it into the wardrobe of all wardrobes. Heaps of space for all of your shoes, her clothes, her clothes, her clothes and maybe some space for his clothes too.